Hi, I'm Michael Carter, and welcome back to another episode of I Wonder. Today, Dr. Lee, I wonder, what causes hallucinations? That's an interesting question, Michael. So a, a hallucination is when you think you see something, but there's no stimulus there. So it's different than an illusion. An illusion is you think you see something, but there is a stimulus there. So a lot of magic shows are about illusions. You're not hallucinating. They really did make a person disappear or a rabbit came out of their hat. But what you saw, you misinterpreted. So a hallucination is completely without stimulus. So you are, you are just making something up, essentially. And so there are a number of causes of hallucinations. The predominant cause is if you've taken a medicine that causes a hallucination, and that thing is called a hallucinogen. So a lot of recreational drugs, and kids don't do this at home, but if you do drugs that are hallucinogens, mushrooms, and LSD, you'll get hallucinations. But there are also hallucinations that occur just for no reason. So for when you, when you first get up in the morning, or when you're going to sleep at night, your brain is starting to turn off and turn on, and you can have hallucinations that occur right when you awaken and right when you're going to sleep. These are called hypnagogic hallucinations and hypnopompic hallucinations, and they occur when you're going to sleep. That's that hypno word, hypnagogic and hypnopompic. These are uh, hallucinations that occur in sometimes normal people who are just coming in and out of REM sleep. And then there are hallucinations that occur when you've been blinded. So if you lose your vision, you might have the Charles Bonnet phenomenon. So if you have loss of vision, there's release of information from your occipital cortex, and that release hallucination is caused by vision loss, and we call that a Charles Bonnet phenomenon. They're often formed hallucinations, which means that people might see people or dogs or formed figures. You should also know that you can have visual hallucinations from cortical activity in the part of your brain that does the vision, the occipital cortex. And when you have that abnormal electrical activity from a seizure, you can get a hallucination. It's usually unformed hallucinations like flashing lights or colored little balls. And some patients with migraine have visual phenomenon, which they know aren't real but are associated with cortical electrical activation, like a flashing light or a jagged line that moves across their visual field. So both electrical activity from seizure and from migraine can cause positive visual phenomena that aren't stimuli-based, which we call hallucinations. And then you've got people who hallucinate because they have a psychiatric illness. So in the Diagnostic Statistical Manual number five, which is the way we categorize psychological illness, people who have schizophrenia or who have some other DSM-5 psychologic disorder might have a visual hallucination. And sometimes those people have auditory hallucinations as well. They hear voices and see people. So what is hallucination, Michael? Um, it's basically a visual phenomenon with no stimulus. It's different than an illusion, lots of different causes. And that's what a hallucination is. Thank you, Dr. Lee. It's really interesting. You're welcome.